Hello everyone, welcome to basic logic git design and simulation with Kratos Prime. So we'll use the vector waveform method for simulating the design. So let's first create the new project with Kratos Prime and you can create new project from file or there is the recent projects menu. Let's click on new project. So we have the Kratos Prime light. Let's do the next and let's locate our project and we are going to put the project name as logic gate. Let's do next and we can even have the different name then it is already there and we can also relocate our project so it will be much more easier to find out. Let's do next again an empty project and we don't have the source for now let's do next again and we only have the cyclone 10 LP in the port. So there is no other boards we have installed. So if you have the respective board, you can select and do next. And you can also select the EDA tools, etc. But we are not going to do. We have did next and now finish. So the project setting is already done. Now we have to write the or add the source for uh, BSDL or headlock. For now, we are going to use the BSDL source, the basic source, and we will use vector waveform generator method for simulating the design so our project is ready here now right click on the project name or you can just go for the file and new you will get new file option new and you have to click on bsdl file let's click ok and we are going to put the code here and we can also write the code from scratch so library i3 is the first and we can just complete the code for NordGate and first line is for library main main library second is for the data types 1164 and we have to have entity and then we will have architecture so library entity architecture is the basic design flow in PSDL entity name is the logic project and basically in Kratos Prime you need to have same name of the project and the top level entity so we have the NordGate with logic gate project name and the module name is also logic gate so we have the port ab as input and z is the output standard logic and we have to have the end entity in logic gate and then after we will go for architecture architecture name of entity name is logic gate is we have to have begin and end of architecture so this very basic syntax library entity and architecture we can have like j less than equals to a nor b so this is the base very basic logic gate and we can even utilize multiple logic gates so we have to have we can have y less than equals to a and the logic operation of ending b so it will do the ending of a and b and assign for the y and we can have z so this is for just for ending and we can also have the comments with double minus in b as dl j less than equals to a we can have the ORing operation in Z, so Z A or B. So the comment is here. We can just save it. The logic kit dot BSD already named automatically scan. So let's save it with the default name. We have the now you can just start for compilation and double click on compile design. So it will take few minutes for compiling the design and you will also get the like all the resource utilization details and Compilation results means it will check the syntax and create the art schematic, even filter the design, place the design, route the design, and finally, um, executable file will be obtained from compilation process. However, we don't have the constraint pin assignments till now, so we will use the simulation option. So, compilation is still happening on, so let's leave it time. We can also expand the options and see the sub, sub options there and compilation is also completed. Now we can just add the vector waveform file for simulation. So we can check the messages, errors, etc. So all the things are good. And we can see the summary here, the number of resources it consumes, logic elements, etc. So it is consuming less than 1%. And the top level name is also here and everything. 
listed here and the other details or reports can be obtained so the flow time reports and the other summary is also available now let's go for file and now let's go for new and we're going to select the university vector waveform option so this is the vector waveform menu we have to load the uh, nodes first of all let's select the grid size and time so grid size is 10 nanosecond for us that means the clock will be of 20 nanosecond and the time in time can be set so one microsecond overall simulation time is set it is good for now and everything is good now let's right click on this option and insert node option so we have to go for node finder and let's locate our source the top level source bsgl source logic kit click on ok and list click on list it will list all the ports so we have only four ports two inputs two outputs where we can select individually or at the same time select all and click on ok and again click on ok all the ports are listed here now we have to put different scenario means label value for a and b a and b are inputs and y and z are output so we can just do it expand this area and we can just put the corresponding value let's select this a area first section of a let's put it down a is b b is also down now make it high so zero 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 one now we have to have one zero and we can have one and one so this is the very basic scenario of the logic kit which we want to implement on and or kit so this is the all zero 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 one one zero one one scenario now we can just run the behavioral simulation so let's save it default name is good let's save it and it will just, uh, just generate the corresponding output waveform it will use it will use the model sim for generating the corresponding waveform of output so we can see the output here along with inputs so we can just expand it so this is the expanded version y is of uh, and git and z is of or git so here we have the 0 1 so this is 0 0 all outputs are 0 and 0 1 and is 0 or is 1 y is and and so you can see here y is ending option ending result and z is oring result So y is and and z is r. Let's select one other position here. So this is one zero, ending is zero, or is one still. And let's go for one one where we can get both of output ending and or one. So this is again one one and we have the zero zero now. All the outputs are zero zero. So this is all in the vector waveform simulation. So we can just save it and close the design. And we can also have similar type of uh, like simulation for other logical or other designs. Thank you for watching.